It stands for Bang Tang Boys. Hey. Hey. Let's give this a shot. Neither of us have ever heard this song. I've only heard, I think. Aside from Dynamite, I think Dynamite was actually the only song I heard from BTS. If I remember right, unless we did another one that I can't remember. So let's give this a shot. BTS Black Swan. See what they got. They're like Backstreet Boys meets Final Fantasy. Yo, <laughs> Final Fantasy. You know Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd I don't know why they, from, they remind me of the characters, just the look. Oh. Just the look, yeah. Yo, this is like, by far, I haven't heard any other BTS music, but like, I love this song. Like, I just love the way it sounds. It's very, like, it sounds mad sexy. And mad sensual and i just love <clears throat> like they're dancing yeah in the beginning they're doing like a little um little miming no was it miming or not miming <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to this I love their dancing style. Mm -hmm. Like it's a very artsy. It almost it's like it's just natural human movement meets ballet. But it's just, I was gonna say it's very like ballet like. Yeah, but then it also has the very popish, like the iso like, like when the they, isolations. Yeah, when they just kind of like pop. Yeah, it's like very explosive movements. <laughs> So if you notice with the choreography, it's like dance, ballet, but even like some form of martial arts, just by the way he kicks, it almost resembles, for me at least, it resembles like a fighting style. It's interesting because like Bruce Lee actually mentions that 
that like <clears throat> um when he fights is as like as if he's dancing because Bruce Lee had like cha cha background. Yeah. So he incorporated that. So I'm not surprised that you see that in martial arts. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see dance styles being incorporated in martial arts. Mm-hmm. So you'll see like in boxing, for instance, the footwork yeah. is very like it can be very dance like even like in certain I forget the name of the martial arts, but there's a martial arts that almost resembles um, a form of break dancing. Hmm. Very interesting. Like there's just so many martial arts forms that are like they're not very mainstream, so you don't see it that often. But from time to time, you'll see, and it'll kind of like be it's a, it's extremely intriguing. a single leg floor bridge you seen that no i didn't you see that line where he talks about it's a struggle um something ocean floor it's very vivid that image that they just painted where just imagine you're in the ocean and you're trying to find the ocean floor but you can't find it Mm. and that depicts like his struggle like he can't find the ground yeah i like that line a lot i'm not even gonna lie i'm like really admiring the dancing and that's kind of what's been uh I'm the opposite. Like taking I'm my focus. I'm staring at the lyrics and I'm trying to like find some time to look at the music video. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just like so focused on the choreography. It's a really good choreography. the cat cow i'm telling you it's a, it's a lot of exercise <laughs> yeah movements i see here. i noticed that but it's interesting because it's just like when you think of like human movement it's it's very similar like you'll see dance techniques used in exercise techniques used in fighting techniques they're all like incorporated in some way mm-hmm. but like i really like how they incorporate it almost seems like some form of ballet they're incorporating some form of like um martial arts and some really i don't even know how to categorize it but some popish choreography so their choreography is very distinct i think and diverse right like i've never seen a dance group with this style of choreography so i wonder if it's the choreographer if they kind of if they do their own choreography but it's really good Wow, that's a beautiful, like, picture. I was actually just going to ask you, where do you think that is? It's a really nice... uh... It's a really nice... I don't even want to call it an auditorium, but it's a really nice hall. Wherever it's taking place. Like a nice theater. Yeah. It's very old school. Looks very, like broadway like but yeah as you said like very like old school Mm -hmm. like where you would see like an opera yeah exactly you know like this song i really like and what i got out of out of it is like they're on a stage and you know like the classic life's a stage um metaphor where you're seeing like you know what's my thing what's my thing like trying to figure out like what is it that kind of separates you from everyone else? And I like that because I think it was like the second verse where he talks about how he finally found himself or something like that. Yeah. I think that's something that everyone is eventually going to go through that like you're seeking like who you are. 
or you're discovering like who you want to be. And I think for me, this song is about that. And I like the um, symbol of a black swan. Cause like, I don't think I've ever seen a black swan. You always think about like a white swan. So I think it's also like going, going toward like the, the black sheep route where like you want to go against the grain. You want to, you know, not follow the mass. Yeah. I think nonconformists are starting to become more normal. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think as the as we transition into a new world, like there's more people that are trying to pursue like just a different lifestyle in general. Like you got the minimalist, you got the young entrepreneurs where like there's a lot of people are trying to steer away from the traditional way of living. I think it's about time. Yeah. 